my teeth are awful, I've got no makeup on and I'm not wearing any trousers. But this is the last day I can film this video before I bugger off to my new house. Well, move myself into the new house, I'm not actually staying there. I'm spending one night there and then I'm coming back here and then I'm going to a wedding and then I'm, oh, it's going to be crazy. But I am doing a sort of an anti haul. There are a few things to begin with which I have bought which are new. Um, for the new house but most of the stuff I already owned and either didn't use it in my room currently or basically want to take with me I've decided I want to get rid of a ton of stuff I had last year at uni like I just have way too many folders and stuff like that which I never used um, and just take some more cool or sentimental stuff with me um, so yeah we're gonna go through this and just just show you what it is. Two kind of newer things I've bought are a bit practical. A duvet. So I am moving into a single bed. Now I haven't had a single bed since I was about 19, so it's been just over two years now. Um, but I'm fine with this decision. I'm not that bothered by having a single bed. It doesn't bother me. It's not like I'm sharing it with anyone. Um, so I mean, like I had a queen size bed in my last like uni haul and um Hannah and another one of my friends have definitely come and crashed in there with me before anyway so it's not a big deal and they just have to bring an airbed or crash on the sofa because we have a living room but so yeah I bought a new duvet I'm going to use the same pillows it's not like I've, I I might get some new pillows but the theory is to use the same pillows um I just needed something <laughs> and then I bought some leaves and I'm just testing one up on the wall I don't think you can see it just to see if it pulls any of the paint down because if it does I won't use these or anything that isn't like my own furniture um, but these are just like little hooks which I thought would be really good for putting coats up or just possibly needing. They were a pound for B&M stores so it wasn't a big deal. The duvet was like six, seven pounds. Um, but I just thought that they're supposed to not leave a mark. Command hooks say that as well. I've currently got holes in my wall where my sister put something up with command hooks. I thought it's way too heavy for them and it's like pulled off the top layer of plaster. So her and my mum are going to have to sort that out between themselves. I did not put up the loose pictures that she did. I'm going to go through some stuff I already had. Some of it is brand new, I'm not going to lie. It's just where I've not put it up in my old room or not really used it. Um, some of it's homeware, some of it's not. There we go. I've got some more command hooks. Um, again, I don't know. I really don't want to leave a mark on the wall because the students and renting and we will never get that deposit back for like one paint mark. Um, but I bought some of these, they're supposed to be really good, I'm going to ask some other people before I do it, but yeah, I've had these for a couple of years now, I used to have a bigger pack as well, hence the wall, um, and then yeah, some of these are missing as well, and I know where they went, because they were trying to hold up a picture which was way too heavy for them, luckily the picture just fell down and ripped off the wallpaper and the paint, not the whole wall like the other side, but you know, um, and that's these little, they're supposed to be for like fairy lights, um strong holds strongly um and like this is like supposed to be for like really lightweight stuff i think i think i don't know i have got one of my symptoms here i've got a whole little collection up on the wall i've not decided if these are coming yet or not um but i do look at them and think oh maybe they should come i've actually got two of our olaf which is why i'm showing you one of them now but i'm thinking maybe they should come um i don't know why i have so many um i feel like I'm not the only one that bought them for me. I know I'm missing some. There's more. I had more than what are up there on the wall. I don't know where they are. But if we find them, they could come with me. I haven't decided on that, actually. They may stay here. I feel like they're not going to go with the over overall theme of my room. And, like, they're kind of sentimental because I used to buy them and, like, collect them and thought they were quite cute. However, I've got, like, better, more sentimental stuff here. So I don't think they are going to come. The next thing that's going to come is, I have no idea why I didn't bring it last year. So last year I took my, this camera here that I'm filming on now, which is not my big camera and not the camera I should be filming on, but that one's like a pain for like a focusing because you, this one has a flippy uppy screen so I can check that everything's in focus. That one doesn't, so it's really hard. I might have to get like a little mirror and try and set it up that way so I can see what's going on. Um, and then I took my little like Fiji like instant film camera the like yellow one the proper big fashion like everyone has them um and then a couple of year about a year and a half ago yeah i bought this which is like a proper vintage camera that pops out and it's so cool and i love it um i have put some film in there i'm not sure that he's actually taking pictures 
I really do not know how to use it or how to work it. I should probably do some research into that. But I reckon like this just sitting on a desk would look so cute or just on a wall. It's a really nice, interesting object. I want to draw it again this year as well. So I think that would be quite interesting. But yeah, so I just bought that. Um, other thing camera related is this. Now somewhere as well I have a mini gorilla pod. I have a bigger gorilla pod but I don't have the ball head to go with it so I need to order that. And I'm probably going to take the a bigger gorilla pod with me anyway if I can get a ball head for it but that sounds so rude but um this is basically I call it like a cable tie tripod so you can screw your little camera in there it's quite strong actually and then you just pull this this can loop around anything so I can like um oh get it out and then push it through and like pull it so it like goes around anything circular it's really quite clever so I'm going to take that with me. It's really small. I didn't take it last year, but I reckon it'd be better for filming in interesting places. And if I keep on filming as often as I'm doing right now, I need to do something more interesting than this, sitting down and talking to you, because that's kind of, probably get kind of boring. This print. Now, this is a Vogue print. Um, I bought this when I was not planning to go over international, actually, but I was still very much, like, loving it. But what I love about these is they're all kind of, like, vintage illustrations. I think it's really, like, cool art. I still love art, and I think... It is something really cool and quite neutral colours, but with little hints of colour, like pops, the red especially, and I think it's going to look really cool in my room. Next, I have a ton of photos. So I've got like prom, one for my sister's handy, another one for my sister's handy that have just been like in cupboards, and um, a ton of free prints left over from my friends, which I will get to where I'll the bottom as well. Um, and I want to do some more of these for more recent pictures because these are all from like two years ago now. Um, so I want to get some more updated ones. But I just decided I want loads more photographs up than I had last year. Uh, loads more good memories. Loads more, like my life has been so good this last year and previous years that I just want better memories up on my wall. So they're going to go up. Hopefully, or some of them will, some of them won't. Like we'll just make it work. Um, and then, ah, uh, can't talk. And then I've got a few little, like, decorate placky type things. I've got this little one which says, do what makes you happy. This is a gift. I can't remember. Oh, I can't remember who gave it to me. Um, but from the back it says it's Sutton Bell. So, Sutton Bell. Um, this also says it's Sutton Bell. I'm not 100% sure that this will stay at my knee for very long. It depends on how much room I have for other stuff. But it's this, like, cute little frame with a heart in. Um, the woods really like my aesthetic but the heart and flowers not so much it depends how much i can blend it in but i'm hoping so because i think this is really cute i think this was from the same person i'm 90 percent sure so these are designed for the kitchen i don't think i'm going to use them for the kitchen they're these four little white bowls the thing is i don't really need massive more stuff for trinkets i've got a couple of jewelry trays at uni anymore like little jewelry stands jewelry stand i don't know what but like i figured like i could have my keys in one of these and stuff like that um, or even like put little plants in them. They're quite cute little bowls. They're designed, they're really, really small. They're just designed for like a handful of like fruit or yogurts in. Or they might end up in the kitchen. I don't really know what I'm going to do with them yet. But like they've not come out of the box since I bought them. So they need to be used. So they need to come with me. This is the only single bed cover and sheet I have. So when I used to do the job I'm still doing now, like bank shifts. But when I used to... Uh, when I used to do it permanently, I used to do sleepings every now and again. So, um, and that would be a single bed. And they did have bed sheets you could use, but I just felt more comfortable bringing my own. So I picked up this set. I think it came from Tesco's at the time. Only never been like used a couple of times. Um, so I'm just gonna bring this with me. And it's got like a sheet in here, the bed cover, and I think it might have an extra pillowcase. I'm not sure. I'm not really bothered if it does or it doesn't. Although I have two pillows at uni, they're both quite dead so I could just pop them in one and it'd be just as comfy and I have lots of smaller pillows at uni which are like throw pillows which I use a lot as well okay that is these I'm gonna hold these up individually because I do not have free hands but this one says sugar and it's orange this one says tea and it's blue and this one says coffee and it's red and they like quite classic -y kind of like illustrations on them um I saw these in the shop where I was getting my duvet the other day from B&M stores and I was like, I already own those. I have a coffee maker and I used to have it in my room and use it in the mornings when I was going getting up for work quite early. I don't really do that anymore because my family sort of just adjusted for me getting up early and I just don't rely on coffee so much. 
but so I have these and I was like hey guys I already own these if you want me to bring them I was just like buying all the stuff and saw them in the shop no one replied I assumed they were like no one loved them but no one hated them so I'm just going to take them and if they need to come back here I'll drive them back here that's not an issue but I figured take them and see what people think if they hate them they hate them that's fine by me the next thing isn't exactly like homeware like like I said this isn't all homeware um, but I will probably put it up in my room unless I'm using it and I've never actually used it for its designed purpose in all of its senses but it's this little party animal like um, hip flask um, it's got a little elephant on it I got this on like my 90th birthday and this is also Sass and Belle unless I'm very much mistaken yep Sass and Belle um, I guess I've got a couple of other bits sort of alcohol related I don't drink this much I promise it's just sort of like I own it so um, we're going to go with that this I got for my 18th birthday or my 19th birthday, I cannot exactly remember, but I think it was 18 and I have never used, it might have been 19, oh I don't know, um, but I love it and it's so cute and it looks really cute on a shelf, um, I probably should use it, I do drink but I like, I very rarely make my own cocktails I just, and I don't drink a lot, um, but it's like this little cocktail shaker which is also glass, it's got a few little mixers in there so I should probably use that at some point or then maybe it out of date so I may just have to buy some to mix drinks and the next thing my sister got me for a christmas present i remember that um and it's this giant like it's supposed to look like a strawberry like little um glass jar that you can drink from um and it's got inside the stuff to make a strawberry dark glass uh, mixer and that's quite cute as well so i figured even if i didn't make the drink i could have this like on the bedside table with a drink in although i have lots of those i like drinking out of jars you have to be careful to don't go rusty. Um, okay, the next thing is totally not my aesthetic for this new room. Um, totally like random, but it means a lot to me. So I'm going to bring it, and if I can fit it in the room somewhere where it looks okay, then I'll probably keep it. If I can't, I can't. But it is this little Russian doll. My granny bought this for me um, shortly before she died, actually. And I have always been obsessed with Russian dolls. I made a whole video on about it a couple of years ago. Um, and this is my one and it has like four little dolls in it. Um, my next tattoo I want to be a Russian doll. Don't tell my mum that I want another tattoo. Okay so I have somehow ended up with piles that are collectively thought of the same things. So now we're going to be organised. Um, next thing is candles and smelly things. So I've got this really cute little candle holder that I've just stuck a tea light in that I already owned. It's got the cement bottom and the glass top. I really love it. It's kind of the aesthetic I'm going for, so we are bringing this with me. I'm not 100% sure if we're allowed candles or not. It wasn't in the tenancy agreement. Um, and as long as I'm sensible with it, I don't think it will be a problem. Um, and then I have this candle, which I bought several years ago and never lit. Um, I brought it to go with a double bed set, which is currently at uni, which will end up being back here and probably being used more often. Um, but it's like a little camper van in a little mug. And I actually bought my, my mum one of these as well, because she loves camper vans as well. Um, and she's actually burnt all of hers down and now uses it just as a mug. But I think it's quite cute. It's quite neutral colours, it's kind of pastel but kind of not. It smells quite nice, quite plain but it's quite nice. So I'm going to take that as well. And we have this, which you can't really tell what it is from outside, but here we have the little incense. And now we have a little incense burner. Now this has been chipped a little bit. I've never actually used it, but just from the packaging and like being not pa packed away properly, it has got a little bit chipped on the top. I'm just going to colour that in with pen. I don't think it'll be massively noticeable. And it's quite cute and quite little. And you can just put a little tea light on there and burn some incense. So yeah, I'm going to take that with me. The next thing are all photo frames. So I'm going to run through them really quickly. This one is the only one which is not of neutral colours, it's red, but my friend Faye got me this year ago and it says friends on the bottom. Um, I'm going to take this with me, but if it doesn't match colours it may end up coming back because it's just such a bold bright colour and it's so far out of any other colours I'm planning on putting in the room. But we'll see because actually I'd love to have a little pop of colour and I absolutely love Faye, so hopefully it will end up going in. I then have these four frames which I put pictures in a couple of years ago. Um, they're all going to go with me. I may end up switching some of these pictures around. I may not. Like I said, I want to get some more free prints. But then I'm also going to just put stuff straight up on the wall. So we're not sure about what's going to happen with those yet. 
I have this massive frame which I absolutely love because they kind of hang inside of it and at the bottom it says hashtag good times. Um, I kind of wish it didn't say hashtag good times, it just say good times, but I can live with hashtag good times. And so that's going to come with me as well. Um, these, this one and the next one are probably too heavy to hang on the wall, hence the holes on the wall. But I reckon I could like put them on top of my bedside table or like um, on top of a bookshelf or something like that. Or maybe on the girls wouldn't mind if I put it like downstairs, but I'm not sure. And then the last one is absolutely like this huge big picture frame with lots of like pictures in of like trips and there's some of my family in there and stuff like that as well. So that's going with me as well. There's two things which I haven't shown you, which I'm planning if they fit in the car okay-ish, bring with me. And one is a full length mirror, which I have in this room, but I don't really use in this room because it's not really a practical place to put it. And at the moment, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to hang it on the wall because it's too heavy for any of the hooks I've got without leaving a mark on the wall. And I really don't want to do that. However, I have these over the door hooks at uni, which I used last year. And I reckon it might just sit in one of those. Like the back bit just slide in nicely. So I could put it over a door or like over part of my wardrobe. So we'll see. And then I'm also going to take a giant pin board, which is quite lightweight. So maybe I have to put it out with command hooks. Um, if there's room for it. If there's not room for it, I will just bring it back home. It's not an issue, it's quite flat, so although it's quite big, it's quite flat, it would just be, you wouldn't be able to see anything but it, and you take up off, off an old picture from it. But yeah, so that is everything that I am taking from my old room back here. No, back to my new house. From my parents' room to my new house, um, I'm going to bring stuff from my uni room back here. It's all really confusing, and I need to start packing. Uh, I hate packing. Packing to move somewhere is actually better than packing to move out of somewhere, but I still hate packing. 